Hey everyone, this is Major Batman here from Link Hero Studios, here to give you a tutorial on a brand new Synthi release. Do you want ultra responsive physics with stunning low poly cars? So do I. So let's combine Eddie's vehicle physics with Synthi's Polygon Pro Racer to make your own racing game in no time. Let's get started. First we'll need both assets. Eddie's vehicle physics was selected, well one because I bought it on sale, but two because it's well reviewed and brings realistic arcade tunable cars to Unity with features like suspension, audio, and a deep configuration. This was my first time using it and it was super easy to set up. Synthi's Pro Racer was just released and is currently on sale for a 30% discount on the Synthi store. This pack has F1 type cars, supercars, dirt bikes, racing trucks, and even some go-karts. A wide variety pack to get your Need for Speed Underground clone working. Now we'll need to import both assets into a Unity project. We'll then open up the Pro Racer demo scene, find the main camera and disable it. We'll navigate and find Eddie's camera controller in this prefab folder and drop it in. Next, select one of Eddie's vehicle prefabs and drop it where you want it in the scene. I selected the coupe. Once you pick it, go into that prefab and you're going to disable or delete both the colliders and the mesh. Now find a vehicle you want to add from the Pro Racer vehicle prefabs and add it as a child element to that coupe or other vehicle you selected. Change the prefabs mesh collider to convex and you're going to open it up so we can see the wheels and other child elements. On the parent, let's find the vehicle controller script. You should see it has four wheels with a few things missing. What we want to do is grab the mesh of each of those wheels and copy that game object over to the corresponding wheel. The front left, front right, rear left, and rear right. We can also remove the caliper transforms as well. Eddie put in a nice little trick where we can just right click the script and select adjust wheel colliders to mesh. This will make the wheel colliders the same size as our wheels and should work. Um, and if it doesn't, we can edit it. If it's good, we are almost done. Scroll down to the vehicle visual effects and we're going to grab the steering wheel game object and drop it in. This will enable it so the steering wheel rotates when we play. Let's go back to the camera controller and drop in our new vehicle into the target variable. Hit play and boom. We have a fully drivable vehicle that we can now explore Sinti's expertly crafted level. You can drive the countryside, even spin out, or go through this really cool looking tunnel. <laughs> well, that was a Wiley Coyote moment. Making this work is super simple. And as a fun little add-on, I rigged up an Apocalypse Wasteland vehicle to unleash some carnage. I followed the same steps and added rigid body to all these cars in this parking lot. Integrating these different asset packs to make this little mini game was made possible because I subscribed to Sinti's All Access Pass, which provides day one access to all their releases. I'll leave some links down in the description. Like and subscribe if you like Unity tutorials like this and coverage of other Sinti Studio products. As always, have a great day and keep creating.